This is the Guava Family Lotus Travel Crib. My wife and I actually bought this with our first child. We have three. We bought it uh, eight years ago and it is still in incredibly good nick, still in really good quality. So it has these handy rucksack travel straps that are tucked away back here. Uh, we bought this so that we could have a small compact travel cot that also was relatively lightweight and this has completely outdone our expectations. Uh, we've used it for all three of our kids. So let's take a look at it. It's really, really simple to unpack. You unzip it and the little cot is actually wrapped up inside of the base. So you just pull the cot out, let's plunk that down, and then you can see the bases in the bag here. We just pull the base out like so. Get rid of the bag. All right, I'm not gonna need the, not gonna need the base for now. I'm gonna look at this. So the way you do it is open each leg and they, they have this lovely little clunk so they can tell you quite happily when they're in position. Another clunk. And what we're doing here is just opening out the legs till they clunk straight. There we go. And then I'm just gonna turn this upside down. You see it's actually put together with this little buckle, which we just open up. This is where the magic happens. And we just open it up, click, click, job done. Pick up the mat and put the mat inside. You can, of course, secure the mat underneath with these little Velcro straps. Admittedly, we never have bothered doing that. We didn't have any specific bed sheets for it. We just brought whatever cot bed sheet we had, or even sometimes a single bed sheet and just folded it underneath. Uh, you know, I think I was concerned at first about it being too thin, and I think, you know, it could be thicker. I understand why they did it for the design purposes, keeping it lightweight and small. Uh, but we overcame it by either shoving a couple of pillows down here or some blankets underneath the, the bed sheet. Now, the other feature that we really like, and actually our other kids liked too, was the little zip. So it then doubles, not just as a travel cot, but also as a little play playpen, which all three of our kids loved, and we have used it for that too. They'd make it into this little den and put a, put a blanket on the top here. It was, yeah, loads of fun. So if we want to put it away, again, really straightforward, just going to zip it up like so. I'm going to take out the base of it, really straightforward. And you're going to put the base back in the bag, like so. So the thing I really liked about this, some, some cots, I would be sort of stood there for ages, some travel cots, for not figuring out how to close it and open it and which leg was supposed to go where, but this one's really straightforward. So if we take a look here, you've got a little moon symbol here, and a little star symbol here, and underneath those, you can zoom in a little bit. Right here, where my hand is, there's like a little lever that you just squeeze and it clicks. That unlocks the mechanism here and it does the same thing over here. Squeeze, click, and then it just folds into place. And then we just tie the buckles back up, click, Turn it up the right way. To close these legs, you just pull them up a little bit till they click and then pop them down. So again, pull up, pop down, pull up, pop down. And then you've got your little nest here ready for it. Just pick it up, shove it in there. Close the lid. Zippity, zippity, zip. Fantastic.
like I said, we bought this to take it with us. We've taken it travelling in all sorts of holidays abroad, on the plane, on the train, on the bus. It's a really, really handy little travel cot. And actually, because our kids are a bit too old for now, I'm gifting it to a friend who's expecting. So really excited to see that this is going to have another home. If you are considering travel cots, this, in my opinion, has been the best one we've ever used.